Okay, so before I start today's video, I just want to give a shout out. This is my new favorite shirt. Um, it says Last Chance to Exit. This is from Splash Mountain at the end of the, well actually at the beginning of the ride, for all of those chickens that want to get off and get out of line. Um, so I love this. Such good quality. And this is from Rural, what is this place called? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. I will put the Etsy shop right here. Alrighty, so I've got my Disney hat on. This is my Nike Disney hat. Got my Last Chance to Exit shirt from Splash Mountain. And he, today I am going to be talking about everybody's favorite topic, food. And the food at Disney is the bomb. Um, not all of it, but most of it is super good. And I'm here to talk about my favorite snacks and restaurants and all of that good stuff when you are dining at Disney World. Will you about all of the good things there are to eat in Disney World. So my favorite restaurants, my favorite snacks, all that. So I'm going to do my five favorite snacks and my five favorite restaurants. So let's start with snacks. So I would say in no particular order, the Dole Whip, and that is the classic Disney snack. So really, really good. It's from Aloha Isle in Magic Kingdom, or you can get it, I believe, at the Polynesian at whatever their, um, like, quick service place is, and that is delicious. I always get it swirled with the vanilla soft serve, and that is so, so good. Now, the second favorite snack I have is the Lafus Brew and Cinnamon Roll from Gaston's Tavern. That is one of my all-time favorite snacks, and Gaston's Tavern is kind of like a little hidden away, secret little coffee shop almost. It's really, really cool though. It's themed like the pub that's in Beauty and the Beast, and but it's really like kind of a not, not well known, um, at least it's never crowded when I'm there. So if you're looking for kind of like a hideout, a place where you can go when it's not really that crowded, I would go check that out. But anyway, the cinnamon roll and Lefou's brew is awesome. I get it every time I go. Okay, so for the third snack that is my favorite, um, we are going to travel to Epcot. And Epcot is a great, great place to try out lots of different foods. They have so many different countries, and you can kind of try a little bit of the cuisine from that particular country. So my third favorite snack is the chocolate beignet from France. This is a delicious, delicious donut that's filled with a chocolate, kind of like mousse cream in it. They are so good. They're addictive. I mean, you cannot just eat one. They're delicious. Okay, Gordon's about to try his first beignet. Try it. Mad long. I spent mad time with that guy. What do you think? <laughs> You like it? Yeah, I like it. Kind of delish. My fourth favorite snack is also from France. Their soft serve ice cream from the ice cream stand right outside of France is to die for. It's so good. You have to get it. I always get the chocolate, but I've had the vanilla as well. And it comes in a homemade waffle cone, and it's just so, so good when you're walking around the park on a hot day. And then for my fifth favorite Disney snack, I would have to say probably just a classic Disney Mickey bar. They are always good. Um, they're fast. You can just eat them when you're walking around the park and it'll help cool you down on a hot day. And they are, like I said, always good. Never fails. Okay, so now let's talk about my five favorite Disney restaurants. And this is really, really hard because I've been to a lot of good restaurants, but there's also so many more that I'm looking forward to going to. Um, this trip we are actually trying Boathouse, which I think will probably become one of my new favorites. It's a very hyped up restaurant, so I'm hoping that um, it's as good as everybody says it is. But anyway, let's get into my five favorite restaurants. One of my favorite quick service restaurants is actually the Yorkshire Fish Shop that is in the UK in Epcot. It is so good. Um, 
The only problem I have with that restaurant is there's not a lot of seating. So if you are walking by and you happen to see a table, I would jump right in line and grab some fish and chips. It's so good. Classic English fish and chips um, served with, I believe, a drink if you get it as a quick service meal. And it is just so, so good. Another one of my favorite quick service restaurants is actually at a resort. So our home DVC resort is the Beach Club Resort. So one of my favorite quick service restaurants, it's super good, is actually um, the Savannah, ooh, what is it called? Hurricane Hannah's, that's what it is, not Savannah. Hurricane Hannah's, and they have this amazing, it's almost like a lobster roll, but it's got shrimp in it. And I'll insert pictures, of course, throughout this whole video, but it is just so good. It's on a toasted buttered roll. And if you guys are anywhere near the boardwalk or even Epcot connects to this resort, it's a great place to get lunch and it's right by the water so you guys can sit and have an awesome view. My third favorite restaurant is Raglan Road. Now Raglan Road is downtown and it is an Irish restaurant, of course. And the thing that makes this restaurant super cool is it has um, live Irish dancers up front. And if you make a reservation far in advance, you can score a really good seat. And we did. We had an awesome view. Um, when I went to Raglan Road, I got the... What did I get? I think it was a beef stew. It was really good. The dessert was delicious. I got some type of cobbler. It was like in a... Um, glass dish. It was really, really good. I'll insert pictures of both what I had and what Gordon had. Um, and really the experience is what made that restaurant, but the food is awesome. For when you first sit down, they give you bread and oil, but instead of like bread and oil you get at a Italian restaurant, this is a sweeter bread and like almost a sweet balsamic oil. Absolutely delicious. My next favorite restaurant is actually both a quick service and a um, sit-down place, and it is a Be Our Guest. Um, Be Our Guest is an awesome, awesome place. It's very hard to get a reservation. What my advice would be is to book that reservation on exactly on that six-month mark when you are planning your vacation, but Be Our Guest is awesome. The atmosphere is just beautiful, and I'll try to insert some videos here if I have some, but it looks just like the inside of, the, of Beast's Castle. And this is a newer restaurant, so it's very innovative. They have digital order ordering, excuse me. So for quick service, you go in and you just pick on a computer what you want. You can also type in if you have any allergies or anything like that, but it's delicious. Most of the food here is going to be hand-carved sandwiches. Um, there's some French onion soup, kind of French style quick service foods, but it's delicious and I highly recommend it. One of my favorite restaurants ever is House of Blues. Now I know this is a chain but it is in Disney Springs and it's some of the most delicious food I've ever had. This is a great place to go if you kind of need somewhere last minute to eat and you don't have a reservation for anywhere because at least when I went I did have a reservation but there is tons of seating. They have great, I had a jambalaya and um, they have awesome biscuits. They're like cheddar and jalapeno biscuits that are delicious but that is a great place to go if you are not really um, planning something or if you don't have a reservation it's a great one to go to. That was really really quick. Before we go I'm going to show you guys actually how to make a dining reservation and in another video I'm going to go into the whole di Disney dining plan but I just wanted to show you guys real quick how to make a reservation. It might be simple to some of you but I know a lot of you this is your first time planning and I want to make sure that you know all the ins and the outs when it gets time to make reservations. Okay, so here I am on the Central Disney page. So when you type in DisneyWorld.com, this is the page that you will come to. This is kind of the center for where you would start planning out your vacation. You can look at hotels. There's everything that you can go from this central page. What we're going to be doing today is making a reservation. So go to Things to Do, and then you could go to Make Reservations, but I personally prefer All Dining. And we are just going to make a sample reservation today. So one of my favorite restaurants is Chef Mickey's. And this is definitely one of the ones I recommend that you guys make a reservation for because it is always crowded. So it's searching and then you can click right on Chef Mickey's. And so 
we are going to see right here the central hub for all the information. I'm going to click on the dining plans that are accepted to show you guys. So at this restaurant, the regular dining plan and the deluxe dining plan would both use one credit at this restaurant. So that is a great deal if you're trying to just use one credit and get a lot of bang for your buck. Go to a buffet, it's a great way to use that credit on the plan. Um, here is a little sampler of the menu. We're gonna go back though, and if you look down here, this is just more information about the restaurant, its location, um, some different experiences you can do at this restaurant. So we are going to plan a day off of my sample itinerary, which I'm gonna show you guys how, you, how to make in a different video. So I'm gonna look for a day that we're light in the parks, which is going to be just for this particular sample plan, May 28th. Um, and we are going to say a party size of, let's say eight, just for fun to see if we can find something that's within our time slot for that many people. And if you look here, this will give you different meal times, so like breakfast, brunch, dinner, but also specific increments or time slots that you can pick. Now, just because you select 7 a.m., that doesn't mean that it will always give you exactly 7 a.m. Sometimes it will give you three times around that particular time. We're going to go for brunch and see what they got. So we just picked in general the brunch time. Let's see what they give us for that. So it's giving us 12.45, 1, and 1.15. That's a little bit late. So I'm just going to show you guys what you would do in the event that those aren't good. You can just go and hit another meal time. And so let's try breakfast. Mm, we will do 10.50. And it's going to prompt you to sign in. I'm going to cut this out so you guys don't see my info. Then it's going to bring you to selecting all the other guests. So, and then you're going to be brought to a kind of pre-confirmation page. It's going to list the name of the restaurant, the time, the number of guests, the date, and the location of that particular restaurant. And now it's also going to, I forgot, it's going to show you the Disney dining plan again, just to make sure that before you book it, you're going to be able to use that plan that you purchased on this restaurant. It's nothing worse than getting there and deciding that, uh, hey, you can't pay for it with the plan you paid for. And all of Disney reservations are going to require a credit card guarantee. Okay, so now once you've filled out that payment information with your credit card number, which I'm not going to show you guys, um, you'll be brought to your confirmation page, which will list the title of the restaurant, date, time, as well as a confirmation number that you should always print out and bring with you to the dining experience. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I will see you all soon. Bye.